Hi, this is Matt Blanton from Specialist in Plastic Surgery, and today I want to talk to you about some rhinoplasty recovery tips. Uh, we get some questions from uh, patients regarding the recovery process, and plus it'll just help you to kind of get an idea of kind of what to expect after, uh, after surgery. So everyone has different recovery uh, expectations and recovery profiles based on their surgeon's preference, but there are some general ideas that uh, I'd like to end up going over. First is um, first recovery tip is really just related to um, managing your expectations, and that happens during the consult. And I find uh, that patients, uh, once they finish with the consult, uh, after doing some vector imaging and some 3D morphing of the nose, have a pretty reasonable expectation of what uh, their result is going to end up being after the swelling's done. With rhinoplasties, it, this is not a uh, very painful surgery. There is some discomfort initially, but uh, pain-wise, most people are fine with maybe some narcotics initially for the first day or two, but really wean themselves off with just uh, uh, to Tylenol afterwards. Um, swelling is kind of the big thing with rhinoplasty, and unfortunately with swelling, uh, everyone uh, has some variability on how long the swelling is going to end up lasting. I would say, I tell patients that, you know, right after surgery, you're going to have a splint on in your face and sometimes in the upper part of the nose is going to end up having swelling and bruising. And so just keeping your head elevated uh, for the first 48 hours after surgery helps. But it's really time, the tincture of time that ends up helping with rhinoplasty recovery. So when you come in for uh, your first post-op visit, which is normally a week out from surgery, uh, I'll remove sutures, take off the splint and uh, stereo strips, and you're still gonna have swelling and it improves over the first month. And usually by three months, most of the swelling in the middle portion of the nose has gone away. But typically the tip uh, is, to, is the part that ends up retaining some of the swelling, even up to six months to a year after surgery. And it kind of depends on what procedure you're doing and kind of what your skin type and thickness is. And those are things that we kind of go over during your recovery. Um, the, so once you end up having those top two things, I mean, the rest of this is actually a fairly easy recovery. I would say after surgery, take uh, time off. I mean, I would expect patients to at least be off for a week uh, with really no strenuous ac activity or exercise for at least three weeks after surgery. So take time off, do some binge watching on Netflix uh, and uh, just enjoy yourself. Um, keeping the nose and keeping your head elevated, uh, I would say the 48 hours, we talked about that, but ice sometimes helps uh, for the first 48 hours after surgery, but uh, that will help some alleviate some of the bruising. There is some folks and some patients that will end up taking arnica and bromelain, but I would say ice and just elevation of the head will be the best thing for you. Um, the other thing that I like to have patients do is to definitely keep the incision clean after surgery and how uh, we do that is just with a q-tip with some hydrogen peroxide and just kind of cleaning the edge of the incision so there's not any crusting that happens. Some people will apply antibiotic ointment to the incisions and not really necessary but if you feel like you want to do that it's not going to hurt anything at all. And then once you come in and the splints off it's really just a matter of uh, patience and and, uh, and and taking your time as far as uh, seeing the the results because it doesn't happen instantaneously. Each week I find that patients will see a little bit of improvement and so taking pictures of their nose kind of on a weekly basis is very helpful and that's it for the recovery.